There has never been a more exciting time to be in education. Technology continues to evolve quickly and is transforming how students learn, explore, and make connections. Today's classroom is focused on ensuring that each student develops the ability to gather, comprehend, evaluate, synthesize, and report on information and ideas, as well as solve problems and work through an extensive range of challenges. We have witnessed an exponential increase in excitement among teachers and students as they continue to improve their use of technology to help achieve these goals. I'm really excited about the transition or the transformation that technology is really having in our district. We've uh, you know, come into an excellent situation where technology is really starting to make an impact in the actual learning process. Every teacher started the year with an iPad, an Apple TV, and a projector to make sure that um, they were all kind of in the same place. From there, we've done lots of professional development for our teachers to make sure that they know how to appropriately use the tools that they've been given. But really, um, that's kind of where we've started as a foundational piece, and then we're moving from there, and all of the teachers are kind of taking it at their own level, and then going from there. They just love it, and they love being able to, um, they, they see me in the hallway with, with, you know, with this, and they're all like, oh, what are you going to show me today? What's important to me whenever we talk about technology is that we want to create a more personalized learning environment for students. We want to help teachers differentiate within the classroom. And the idea that uh, the device specific that we're talking about with iPads is really unique is that touch interface. We're seeing some really interesting learning activities where teachers are asking students to record while they manipulate some kind of app or activity and talk out through talk out talk out loud through that learning activity and uh, we're seeing some really interesting results of teachers being able to follow that process using this new tool allows us to teach the basic facts and teach them how to be learners independently because of the vast amount of resources that are available in a, in a split second it's just more to learn on an iPad, like you can learn new things to do on it. And that student-centered learning has been around for a long time, but this, this device takes it to a whole nother realm, in that they, they truly are doing the learning independently with a teacher as a facilitator, a coach, a guide, a mentor, who's there for every step of the way. The thermometer is an instrument that measures temperature. So let's swipe it and it goes to see a more student-centered classroom. It's not just the teachers standing at the front of the classroom, the teachers are more mobile because they can move around the classroom. They're not tied or tethered to you know a smart board or any like a chalkboard at the front of the classroom. iPads, uh, like anything else, is a tool uh, for a teacher and it really allows the students to um, take ownership of their learning. Anytime we have a question in class, if I say, um, I don't know what the answer is, can somebody look it up on the iPad? They are fighting over one another to get to the iPad and uh, look up whatever it is that the topic is that we're researching. I don't know. Click and find out. When students have the devices in their hands, they're able to problem solve and explore, and you know, the teacher is a facilitator in the classroom and they're the guide, not the person leading exactly what the students are doing on the iPad. I can create videos, I can create text uh, that's appropriate for their age and they can access that through the technology, through the device, the iPad or, or the laptops and they can do their, be more independent with their learning, with their access to information. What do you use the videos for? Yeah. Use the videos to learn. That's awesome. They're creating their learning by making videos. They're creating their learning by creating drawings uh, on the iPad that they can then share with the entire class in a very fast and efficient way. Digitally, like we, I think we learn more like hands-on instead of reading from books. Uh, yesterday, we made, we made uh, screencasts about how to do multiplication stories. And it's what we would have done prior to having the iPads is they would have been on paper and pencil and they would have written things out. 
or with the iPads, they can look at a picture on the screen of groups of items. They can then divide those into, into um, their equal parts or equal groups and then tell a multiplication showing the error rating as they go. All these skills, you know, the, the, the base bedrock that we start, that I always start my lessons with is what do the students need to know? For math, they need to know how to multiply single digit numbers right now in second grade. They need to know the definitions of these particular words in vocabulary. Now how can I get that information to them in a most efficient way that also teaches them the, the skills of collaboration and cooperation, uh, the skills of how to problem solve, um, and how to be independent in accessing the resources that will teach them those skills. When they're working in partners and in teams and each of the partners can help each other and show, oh, you know what, you made a mistake here, it's really four groups of three, not three groups of four, that's going to be a very powerful learning experience for all of the students. I want to ask you a question. The first time we started working in teams, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, how did it feel? Very first time you started working in teams. How does it feel now working in teams? Yeah, it makes a difference, doesn't it? You said the pond is slimy. That's a nice sentence to express what slimy means, and I love the picture you drew, Donovan, because it really shows slimy is just kind of what? Uh, like everything is slimy. Yeah. Even on the word slimy. When I look at different teachers and how they're using these devices in the classroom, that device is making an impact in all areas. You know, I think about it in our district here, uh, we have some amazing art teachers, and they're just going places that you couldn't imagine before without the technology. Um, music as well. District 58 has launched several initiatives to learn more about the power of technology to improve teaching and learning. On January 7th, we began four learning labs, which provide each student with a technology device for a unit of study taught in partnership between the classroom teacher and the district technology facilitators, assistant superintendent of curriculum, and director of technology. A weekend iPad take-home program also has been in place in several of our elementary schools for the past year and a half. And January 7th was the kickoff of a pilot bring your own device program at O'Neill Middle School. The district's focus will continue to be on the use of technology, not just for technology's sake, but as a tool to improve teaching and learning. Traditional materials will always have a place in our classrooms, but through technology, we can open up the walls of those classrooms to an amazing world of learning opportunities through technology. It's been uh, an amazing journey.